this is a way of how a protein is transferred from a cyto cytosol inside the mitochondria. Now the translocation of proteins into chloroplasts. Now if you look at here the translocation of protein into chloroplasts, the basic idea is the same that it should have a nascent polypeptide which is having a protein a signal sequence uh, delivered uh, destined to deliver the protein inside the chloroplast that's called the uh, stromatal import sequence as you can see here the stromatal import sequence or SI S I S stomatal import sequence is there actually I have a kind of technical fault in this case anyways so so it should have this stromatal import sequence at the end terminal end once it is having this it will bound with uh, the, the transporter that is present the channel that is present onto the membrane of chloroplast and that channel is simply termed as TOC now different variety of the TOC protein like TOC 75, TOC 34, TOC 86 and all this all of them actually TOC 86 is acting as a helper protein there majorly it is composed of TOC 75 and TOC 34 is a GTP associated protein so GTP associated proteins that is guiding the protein to be in inserted inside so once it is having this uh, this subunit for example say Rubisco so let's say this is a protein called Rubisco S unit actually Rubisco is having two different subunit S subunit and an L S stands for small subunit L stands for large subunit the large subunit mitochondria uh, actually chloroplast produces inside uh, itself but the small subunit is uh, must be transferred from the cytosol so this is the small subunit of Rubisco enzyme and uh, it is now it having the stromatal import sequence it will be guided through this TOC uh, 75 channel using ATP hydrolysis because energy is required once the net, 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 nascent polypeptide is inside the stroma which is a matrix of chloroplast as you all know now once it is inside the stroma it will involve the HSC70 proteins again because these are chaperonin because these are very important proteins guide the other proteins to be folded so they will guide this nascent polypeptide to be folded and for this folding they require again ATP hydrolysis so ATP will hydrolyze and it will fold this nascent peptide into a particular structure and during this process they will also cleave this terminal amino acid sequence which is the signal sequence they will cleave the signal sequence out of it and during this process this small subunit will be attached with the Rubisco large subunit which is also being guided by another chaperonin called HSC60 to be folded properly then this two folded agent one is folded using HSC70 which is the small unit coming from outside uh, of the chloroplast coming from cytosol and the large subunit is folded or guided the folding using the HSC60 or chaperonin that is present inside the stroma and then both of the subunits are at attached with each other they are arranged together via the again using the energy uh, of ATP hydrolysis and we get the assembled product right so that's how the whole process can can work out like this